Hey guys, as you can see that we are outside yet again at the Intel powered store but this time around is in Plaza Laoya. So once again, if you're looking for a new laptop but don't know what to choose, well, we are here to point you in the right direction. Well, in case you missed our earlier video where we talked about Intel gaming and the Evo laptops, definitely check that video out. So right beside me, we have once again Mr. Lewis, the Intel Master Trainer. So Mr. Lewis, have you missed me? Hi, good to see you again, Adam. So tell me once again, Mr. Lewis, what is your role here at Intel? I'm Intel Master Trainer, where I'm here to explain to customers for more technical aspects in terms of laptop and what kind of specs that customers will look for to get the best experience for their laptop usage. So that's really great, Mr. Lewis. So I have prepared even more questions compared to what I had when we visited at the Pavilion Bukit Jalit area. So please don't run away from my questions because I believe that these questions are very crucial. Because as we all know that the Intel 13th Gen laptops are already out right now. So with that, how would I know which CPU that I should choose for myself? So there are four main tiers that you should look for. i3, i5, i7 and also for the i9. So i3 is basically for standard user, really basic needs like a student. They're basically for using for like web browsing, email, watching videos or productivity application like Word, Excel, OneNote, PowerPoint. And for the i5 would be for those who need a little bit more like performance to tackling tasks like for video editing, running multiple application, even like some casual gaming. And for the i7 is for professionals that would like to use their laptop for heavy usage and workloads like video editing, photo editing, 3D modeling and high graphics gaming. Lastly, for the Core i9, which is for the powerhouse user, they need to be best performing in a mobile package to essentially for the best of the best. That's really fantastic and really awesome stuff indeed. Now, this sounds very similar to a desktop CPU actually, right? Definitely very similar. Actually, you know how Intel has specific designation such as K for overclocking chips, F for the without onboard graphics, so like a Core i7 13700K and i7 13700KF. Okay, so let's just assume that I know what you're talking about, which I might or might not. So can you actually explain a bit more about this particular uh, differences between the both? Well, for laptops, there are specific subcategory as well. Since there are so many different types of laptops, those that need more power for gaming, or those that need more power for efficient chip to save their battery life. And they created a subcategory so that easier for people to choose their ideal laptops. That is actually quite interesting. I like how they actually had a proper categories to see which is more important, whether it's gaming or even saving battery life, because sometimes it's either there or here, right? But what I really want to know is that what are the main types that we should really know that? There are five main subcategories, which is the HX, HK, H, P and U series processor. So to recap what we talked about before, HX, HK, H series processor are meant for gaming. H series is for enthusiast level of gaming performance. HK is for high-end gaming performance with overclock capabilities. And for HX series is a workstation caliber device for professional gamers or content creators. So for P series are meant for thin and light laptops, while U series are for ultra light foldable laptops. So they are focused on more power efficiency and also giving more battery life. So that is actually quite interesting because I see that this really simplifies things a bit better so that we have a more clearer direction and as long as we have someone like you in the store at the Intel store, at least it makes it a bit more clearer in making our purchase decision. So I have just one more question though. I mean, I see that there are the P and also the E cores in the Intel processor. So what's the deal on that? So P core or performance core are for heavy hitting tasks such as gaming, with P-Core, it's about giving the best performance to you, but the downside will be eat up much more power to give you the best performance. On the other hand, for E-Core or Efficient Core are all about the saving your battery life. These are the most efficient core where they will take up all the lighter tasks such as background processing so that the P-Core don't have to do with them to save your power. So essentially, the mix of P-Core and E-Core is all about balancing the performance while they're still giving you a better energy efficiency and battery life. I love how he's really explained properly to give you a proper differentiation between all the different kinds of cores available. But I think that would be the best that you can actually explain to anyone who really wants to understand which laptop is best for them. But Louis, that is from the CPU side of things. But how about GPU? Because I heard that the Intel Arc is now available, right? Yes, it's available now. So let me bring you there. Okay, uh, Mr. Lewis, the thing is that I kind of understand CPUs in general, but when it comes to GPUs, I'm not so clever about it. So how would you explain Intel Arc or GPU in general for the average person to really understand the different tiers on this? For average person, I think they just need to know the difference between the tiers. So there are Intel Arc 3 for enhanced gaming, 
okay. Intel Arc 5 for advanced gaming and Intel Arc 7 for high performance gaming. So let's, in general, in Arc 3 is for casual or esports gamers who wants to have a smooth gameplay, games like Baron for example, at a smooth frame rate in a low medium settings. And for the Arc 5, it's more for serious gamer that would like to take one step up maybe in terms of like eSports game at the highest setting. And for the Arc 7, is for those much more serious gamers who like to play AAA title in a playable frame rate. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Lewis. It's nice to have a very in-depth explanation. So guys, if you have been having problems trying to choose the best laptop, I was even really shocked to know that Intel Arc itself have different tiers for us to help to make a purchase decision. So thank you so much, Mr. Lewis. Yes. Now, the good news is that I actually had a conversation with Mr. Lewis before this, and he has a special promotion for you. So there's an amazing promotion coming from the guys from SNS Network where if you drop by to their Intel powered store at Plaza Laureate right here or even Pavilion Bukit Jalil specific for purchases of the Intel Core i3 and the i5 you'll be getting the Shieldcare one year extended warranty a 64GB pen drive and the Bluetooth soundbar and if you're planning to purchase the Intel Core i7 and the i9 you'll be getting the Shieldcare one year extended warranty a 64GB pen drive a Bluetooth soundbar and a 1TB external hard disk. Now, these promotions are currently valid until the 12th of July, 2023. Alright guys, there you have it. Make sure to drop by the Intel powered store to experience all of these laptops firsthand. Because laptops are very personal devices to really satisfy your needs. And with that, you need a little bit of knowledge to get the best laptop experience for yourself. So let me know if you have any other questions at the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.